our antelope hunting out here is, I think, some of the best that you'll find in Montana in terms of number of antelope. We, we've got a lot of antelope size. You know, um, for us, as far as uh, we can get you Pope and Young antelope for sure, but we're, we're not going to shoot 17 inch antelope. You know, trophy antelope around here is 14, 15 inch, uh, which makes a great trophy with a bow. Or, you know, I mean, even with a rifle, it's, it's a good buck, and uh, we have lots of them. And uh, it's, I think, one of the most underrated hunts there is, personally. I, I like to hunt them. During the archery season, me personally, I, I prefer to do the decoying. It's a lot more exciting, and, and you can get out, and you're into the action all the time. But that season is, or that time frame is very short. You're looking at seven to ten days. And if you miss that window, um, then we kind of uh, resorted to sitting on uh, water holes. And, um, and we have a good success with that. If you're crafty, you can spot and stalk them. I mean, it's, you know, we don't have big, really flat sagebrush flats. We have a lot of rolling hills and a lot of broken country and, and definitely spot and stock opportunities. It's midday in Montana and uh, we're elk hunting, but we're, there's a bunch of antelope over here and we have a kind of a, a combo license, mule deer and, and elk, but we also have a antelope license. And, and so we're gonna got a little herd over here. They should be rotten and we're gonna take out the old Montana decoy. Antelope buck decoy and see if we can't get up there, pop that up, get within their comfort zone, pop that up. And, We've got we've got coffee back here. Don't mind me, I'm dying. <laughs> he 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 calls them in with that call. Well, we're gonna get set up and uh, and uh, see if we can't pop that up and draw that buck out of there. <laughs> we'll never do it with Jim running the decoy. Though. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? So let's do this. I'll follow you, kind of just behind you, and then th that way you should be able to see him. Okay. And then we can pop that thing up, and then we'll just kind of get behind you. And that should be good enough to, uh, you know, buy us some time, maybe get a shot. There you go. Step on my bar. There you go. <clears throat> okay. Ready? Sounds good. Go up the hill. These antelope aren't very far. Hit him, dude. You smoked him. You smoked him. You did him right. You smoked him. Yeah. Oh man. How deep I felt that. Yeah, Ryan. I know Ryan's bottom. Ryan's was... behind us. We just set up and we're looking at those antelope bar. That guy came in on a string, and Ryan goes, dude, there he is, he's there. So I just drew, stepped to your left. And 10 seconds. I estimated him from 40 yards, I guess That's I was pretty I said close. 40, I was gonna say 40. This decoy, I mean, oh. that didn't take two minutes total from the truck. And that is a big goat. What do you think of that? You smoked him right behind the shoulder, perfect. Let's go have a muzzy moment, shall we? God, Oh man. Montana decoys work. Wonders, Jer, thanks. Unbelievable <laughs> on that one.
I guess it's prime time decoying. Wow, what a buck. He's awesome. Isn't that, wasn't that fun? That, that was quick. Now, that was quick. Here we are in Montana hunting elk with Dog Creek Outfitters, and it's hot. How hot it is, is it today? It's mid-80s today. It's been hot for the last six, seven days, mid-80s. So the elk hunting's been an hour in the morning and the hour in, at night. And, and instead of going back to camp, Jim suggested that, hey, why don't you just, uh, why don't we go try and decoy an antelope? You got Be antelope tags along with your deer and elk combos. Oh, that's awesome. That's fun. You know, but it's only really that mid-September that that Yeah, you got a seven to ten day window where it works ideal. And if you have two people, it's great because one can hold the decoy and you can both hide behind it. And you can draw and pop out from either side. And we were fortunate. We had three yeah. because uh, we, we had, had a, a cameraman camera with who was behind me and it still worked like yep. a charm. He still didn't know. He wasn't sure. I don't want to leave. Should I? There's three blobs there, but there's a buck standing there. So it held his attention perfect for you to make a draw and perfect 40 yard shot on him. Awesome. Well, great. Well, thanks for everything. You got it. Montana decoy. It doesn't get any more exciting than this. Nope. Not with that.